Little shimmy, little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I, I only have little shimmy. We went on Amazon looking for gadgets to slim your double chin. Is it worth your money, honey? We're going to find out next. Hi there, chickadee. How you doing today? We're Two Real Chicks. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we thank you so much for joining us today because it always makes our day that much more special when you keep us company. Welcome to another episode of Is It Worth Your Money, Honey? This time we went on Amazon looking for gadgets to slim, well I was going to say a double chin, but since you don't have one to slim my double chin because as I have gained weight due to my medical conditions, I have a big old double chin. Not happy about it, so I thought, if there's something that will work that's non-surgical, let's give it a try. So the first little goodie that I ordered is called, what is this called? Excuse me, I need eyeballs. So this little goodie is called the Neckline Slimmer. It actually comes in this pouch, if you can believe it. It's $10 or less on Amazon, depending on who you get it from. Yeah. Okay, so it comes in the case. And it comes in two parts, and you can't get it back in the case unless you take, unless it, you apart. take it apart. And then it also comes with three springs. All right, I'm going to get you the directions. And the three springs, the pink one, if I'm not mistaken, is light tension. The green one is medium tension. And the black one is intense tension, if I'm not. Low pink. Green. Yep. Purple is high tension. Oh. Okay, so I guess that's purple. My mistake. Look black to me. Okay, so I'm going to use the green one. I have not tried this. I did take it out of its packaging, but that's it. I don't know that there's a particular end that matters which way you put it on, so we're going to just slip this into here, and then you supposedly just Twist it into place. Okay, there we go. Line it up. All right. Now, we line it up on the chin, and then you push your chin down. All right. Let's get a side view. Okay. Am I doing this right? I think this is supposed to rest on your chest. Will it rest on your chest? This? This. this. Okay. 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 So, I rest it on my chest, and then I push down. Uh-huh. Okay. It makes more sense to rest it on your chest because I, if you held it, there would be the temptation to push, push it. it. That makes more sense because I was concerned about that. Okay, so you rest it here. It's not uncomfortable. How long do you have to do this? It doesn't tell, does it? Three sets of 10 reps for neck toning. For chin and jaw, three sets of 10 reps. Total time two minutes per day two minutes a day okay actually to my surprise I could see myself doing this for two minutes a day mm -hmm. I feel like a bobblehead can you feel it I can but it doesn't hurt no I am surprised now I don't know what the results will be I'll use it for 30 or 60 days. We'll come back and see. But for right now, is it worth your money, honey? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. It's worth trying just to see if it would work. Because it makes sense. It's like any type of exerciser. It's resistance. You, it's resistance. It's strength training. It's, it's working the muscles down here. Yeah, I'll give it a try for 30 days. So, yeah, we're going to call this one worth your money. For now. For now. Check back later. Now, what else do you have? This thing here comes with no instructions at all. This is $2 on Amazon. This is called a neck slimming firming belt. It looks like a headband. It pretty much is. Now, the way this works is it doesn't come with instructions, so I had to go back on and see how to work it. And by the way, I'm going to insert some pictures. Some of the pictures that they show are so ludicrous, it's not even funny. And some are so clearly photoshopped. 
It's sad. Very sad. It's just bad. It's just, it's just bad. So this thing, you're supposed to strap it around and then put it over your ears and sleep in it and put it over your head. So to make things a little easier, I'm going to pull my hair back. Lord, I'm having a hot flash and my hair is wet. No good can come from this. Welcome to the Over 40 Beauty Channel where we just keep it real. Hot flashes and all. Ooh, thank you. I got okay. you. I got you. All right. Will you help me? I will help you. Because this is supposed to go over my ears. Well, your ear bobs. All right, let me the take way. these off. Ear bobs come out. Ear bobs come out. Yeah, because that would be a really good look, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm scared of that thing. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared of that thing already. And I, I, I question it, but I'm not going to give it a final judgment yet. So we put it on. Ow! You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Catch up. I'm trying. All right, so you pull it under your chin here. You pull it as tight as you can, which is pretty tight. I feel like my eyes are smushed together. Literally, my eyes oh, feel. Wow. Do they look it? A little bit. Okay. I am totally not impressed and this is not something that I am going to use. I'm going to tell you that right now for two reasons. It's very uncomfortable. I mean, you're just smushed like 10 pounds of mud in a two pound bag. That's okay. Bad. So you're smushed and I really, even though it gives firm compression, it definitely gives firm compression. You know what this reminds me of? What? A girdle for your face. <laughs> Spanx for your face. It feels like I've got Spanx on instead of on my hiney that I've got Spanx on my face. Now here's the thing about that. When you've got your girdle or your Spanx or whatever your compression undergarment is, it does indeed suck it up, hold you in. But the second you take it off, everything comes rolling out. And I suspect that's got to be the same with this. You can't squeeze it away. There's no possible way that you can smush a double chin and make it smaller. And they also claim you can change the shape of your face and make it more of a V, a heart shape. That ain't going to happen. Your face looks so slim. I'll bet it does. And watch what happens when you take it off. I want to get out of the way. I don't want it to pop on me. <laughs> it might slap <laughs> you. All right. Watch what happens when we take it off. Woo! Face goes right back into position. There's no way this can work. No. There's no way. So, even though it was only $2, is this worth your money, honey? No. It looks like a slingshot. Try it on. See what you think. No, I want to make a hairband out of it. Pull my hair back out of the way. Oh. Yeah, you know, when I'm doing my makeup and stuff. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it's worth that if you want to do your makeup. Well, there you go. It'd be good for a facial or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Be a good headband. That's the alternate use. I'm also thinking when the, when the squirrels get in my yard. So, for the neck bra, the neck slimmer, this is a, is it worth your money, honey? No. no. So for this, willing to give this a try. For this, I wouldn't waste your money. And we will put the link for this down below in case you want to try it for yourself. And that's this edition of Is It Worth Your Money, Honey? If you like these videos, please give us a big thumbs up and tell us below that you like them because we plan on bringing you on a regular basis weird and goofy gadgets and beauty products to see if they really are worth the money, honey, so that we can save you your hard-earned money. That's right. So be sure to leave us a comment below and give us a big old thumbs up. And on your way down there, if you would click that red subscribe button, I believe it's right there, so that you can be subscribed. But next to that button is a bell. And that bell, if you click that bell, it will notify you every time we upload a new video. And I'm telling you, that's the only way you're going to get notified. Yeah, YouTube has changed stuff around again, and you're not going to know that we've got a new video up unless you click that bell. So, ring our bell, baby. Ring my bell, ring my bell, my bell. Sorry. Do you have a momentary lapse?
of judgment. I did. So I'm going to go see what other uses I can find for my chin girl here. I'm still liking it for a headband. All right. Let's see. Am I styling now? You're styling now. Okay, so we are two real chicks. We will see you next time with another edition of Is It Worth Your Money, Honey? Until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye.